I'm back at Laravel.com, and we will go to Documentation. Scroll down to Dev Environments. Now, Homestead is a Vagrant box that has everything you need. Think of it as like a pre-configured Vagrant box. Uh, if you're familiar with virtual machines, you might want to take a look at that. But I'm assuming you aren't. Instead, we're going to take a look at Valet. Now, right off the bat, I will tell you, Valet is specifically for the Mac. So if you're on Windows, just stick to what we did in the previous episode, and you're all set. But if you are on the Mac, keep watching. As you can see here on the tin, Valet is a Laravel development environment. It doesn't require a virtual machine. It doesn't require you to manually edit files. It doesn't uh, require you to set up Nginx or Apache or anything. It just takes care of it all for you. So as a result, within your project, you could say, I want to create a new app of some sort. And immediately after you do that, you will be able to visit app.dev in the browser and immediately begin working. It's easily one of my favorite parts of the Laravel ecosystem. So you'll see if we scroll down right here, installation. The first step is to install Homebrew. And very likely, you're already familiar with this. It's kind of like Composer, except Composer is specifically for PHP dependencies, and Homebrew can be for just about anything. So let's grab this and execute it. And that'll take just a minute. So while it's doing its thing, we can switch back and the next step will be to ensure that we have PHP 7.1 installed on our machine. Now, I already do, but for you, you're just going to paste this command. So you'll run brew. Yep, I have it. So you'll run that, and it will install PHP 7.1 for you. Next, install Valet with Composer. Okay. Well, we already have Composer, and we've also added Composer's bin directory to our path, which means this should be fairly simple. Let's pull it in. And now, you may need to open a new tab for it to take effect, but you should be able to run Valet. Okay, great. Next, run the Valet install command. This will configure and install Valet and DNS mask. It'll also register a daemon to ensure that Valet runs at every startup. So let's do that now. Valet install. Great. Next, once Valet is installed, try pinging any star.dev domain. Yeah, so basically what happens with Valet is it relocates any uh, browser request to star.dev, specifically to localhost. And that way you can have a single entry point for all domains. And then Valet figures out how to route it. It's really neat. So let's try bing foo.dev. And you'll see that it is responding on localhost. So we're all set. Next, we're done with Valet install, by the way. We don't have to run that again. But you may want a database. Now, you probably want to pull in MySQL. You'll see that you may start it using brew services start. So let's run that. And in my case, we get this error because I already have it installed. OK, we're just about done. So if we scroll down, here's the main next step. Once Valet is installed, you're ready to start serving sites. Valet provides two commands to help you. Park will be the main one we use. So create a new directory anywhere on your Mac. And I recommend doing it, as you can see here, in your code directory. Next, we will run Valet Park. So this is our way of saying, this is where I'm going to park all of my websites, essentially. And now, for every new project, I can just visit the project name.dev, like so. I mean, honestly, how cool is that? Let's try it again. I'm going to delete that blog folder. And we'll say Laravel new anything. That's done. So I can now go to anything.dev. And we're all set. Crazy. It's so crazy, isn't it? Uh, another thing you can do is if we go to our anything project, I could even say things like valet secure. And now we have secured the site, at least locally. So now we can use HTTPS and it's secure. Okay, great work. In the next lesson, let's move on to our database.